Okay. Foam mitigation is the subject here. I've had a lot of success with these little meshes and the intake ports of the reservoir. Now there is some foam in there but it's nowhere near as bad a situation before. Before I had such a high flow rate that there was just a massive accumulation of foam and that would make the cell run at like a I don't know. It was like a 10% duty cycle. I'm to have to shut it off and let the foam die down. Now I'm at a 100% duty cycle. This thing can just run non-stop. I have another video of this where I'm using a negative so you can see the flow differently. But I don't know why yet, but it definitely stops the foam. I am foamless. The rust in that water is helping big time as well. Um, this thing's still a little work in progress. Definitely needs some work yet, but and some awesome results. I couldn't run that thing nowhere near 15 amps before for this long. It would just be full of foam by now. I don't know if you've seen the other video I posted on this, but as I said, I also tried this too. I had a piece of mesh in the center. This damn camera sucks. And there was like a drip zone in there. But during fooling around with that, I noticed that just sticking them in here, which is what we see over there, is a lot easier. It is far better. It doesn't have the other issues involved. A lot of water was filling up in the top here. So I basically took that out and just threw it on the ground. That's what I had in there, is that piece. But, uh, yeah, we're about 18 amps here and still no foam. Well, there's a little bit in there, but it, it isn't shooting out of my torch. Yeah, I better shut this down. I don't like pressuring up HHO torches. So, the battle of the foam is over. I shut down the Paisley Electrics. There was just too much problems involved with that. It's just a relic hanging out in there. I'm going to get that out of there and do something with it eventually. So, that is that. Foam is dead.